Hi, I'm Dr. Amy Johnson, author of The Little Book of Big Change and creator of The Little School of Big Change, an online course and community that's helped thousands of people around the world find freedom from things like habits and anxiety. The understanding that I share in The Little School of Big Change is pretty groundbreaking. It's a brand new paradigm that in many ways flips traditional psychology and self-help on their heads. It's a new way of viewing how the mind works and how change really happens. This understanding has changed my life in many ways, and it's been the thing that works when nothing else did for so many people. This is the Little School of Big Change highlight series, where we've gathered some highlights from the content in the school to give you a sense of what it's like within the Little School of Big Change. In this first video, you're gonna see a short clip of me talking about how this approach and this understanding is different. How the places we've been taught to look to go about change are shallow, and don't tend to last. But there is a new place to look and you'll begin to see that in this short clip. The kind of change that we're experiencing here at the Little School of Big Change is different than the way change is talked about and done in most places. So most of the time, change that you'll hear about is about changing our behaviors, our thoughts, or our feelings. And it's going from the outside in most change attempts are what I'm going to call outside in or kind of top down. So, for example, if you want to stop smoking, you start adding things, right? You add the nicotine patch or maybe you add some pill or you add an app that helps you track your smoking or you come up with a behavioral plan, you know, or you, you make a big decision about what you're going to do. It's very, very behavior focused. Same with, you know, if you're wanting to stop yelling at your children or stop being so insecure at work or stop worrying so much. We focus on, understandably, we focus on what it is that we're doing, worrying, yelling, being insecure, smoking, whatever it is, and we come up with a plan to attack that. So we, we decide there has to be some way I can think, feel, or do differently in order to change this. Now, as I say this, it's like that, that sounds very logical, right? It's very, very understandable. What we do, what we're doing, our thoughts, our feelings, our behaviors, that, that's the habit, right? So that's exactly where we're focused. That's the thing we see that we don't like. That's the thing other people see when they say, oh, you really need to stop that. You know, it's, it's all about the behavior or the thought or feeling, whatever it is. But it's all about that part because that's what's visible. That's what's right in our faces. So it's totally understandable that we look at that, call that the problem, and then think of some strategy or behavioral plan or something to change that. Um, think about an iceberg. You have this huge iceberg. You have the tip of the iceberg, right? It's about 10%. 10% of that iceberg is visible above water. 90% of the iceberg is invisible. It's under the water. That's kind of how our habit is. So in terms of what we're talking in here, it's kind of like our, our top-down, outside-in, behavior-based sort of techniques for change, they're sort of like saying, okay, I'm gonna move this iceberg. I'm gonna change this iceberg. And I'm gonna do it by going to work on the tip. That's the part I see, it's right in my face. I'm gonna get my chisel out and I'm gonna beat that iceberg and I'm gonna see if I can make the whole thing crumble and shift by starting from the top down and focusing on that, that little tip that I can see. Now, we all know, when you think about it like that, to shift an iceberg, I mean, there's a foundation there and it's 90% of it, really. It's not even visible to us. That's what the whole thing stands on. If you wanna move an iceberg, all you need to do is raise the water temperature a little bit and the foundation, the base starts to shift. The tip will crumble too, but that will crumble naturally. It will crumble because the foundation has shifted. So what we're looking at in terms of change here in the Little School of Big Change is a shift in our foundation, a shift in, in what's holding up everything. And that's not where people typically look because it's not visible. <laughs> it's not the problem, the behavior, you know, the thought. It's, it's our understanding, our understanding of life, kind of the, the map, as we talked about in lesson one. It's that map we have, that human map. 
that's our basic understanding and that's what everything is built upon that's our foundation it makes so much sense doesn't it that when we are trying to go about change we're focused on the tip of the iceberg we're looking right at what seems like our problems our weaknesses our habits the things that we need to change and then we attack those with behavioral change or thought change or feeling change and that's all okay, but it just doesn't go very deep and it's a ton of work. What you saw in this clip shows you that there's a lot more beneath the surface. The whole foundation that all of that rests upon is there beneath the surface and it's holding it all up. And when that foundation shifts, everything starts to change. So just take that thought with you as you leave this first video. What if there's a lot more to who we are and why we do the things we do than meets the eye? And that if you start to see that clearly, amazing things start to happen. Thank you so much for watching this first video, and I can't wait to see you in the next one.